In this video, we're going to look at some implicit differentiation formulas from Calculus 3. So here is the setup. So if we have a function, f of x, y, and z, and it's equal to 0. So if this defines z implicitly as a function of x and y. So implicitly as a function of x and y. Then we get these really beautiful formulas for the partial derivative of z with respect to x. So the first one is del z del x, and it has a negative sign. All the formulas have negative signs. And there's a really easy way to memorize the formula. So the x here is in the bottom, so the partial of f with respect to x goes up top. And then the z here is up top, so the partial of f with respect to z goes on the bottom. So all you do is you crisscross them. Let me show you what I mean with little dots. So x goes to x, z goes to z. The other formula is pretty much the same. It's del z del y. And so this is negative, and then it's fy over fz. So again, you just crisscross them, right? So this goes here, and this goes here. Okay, so those are the formulas, and they're very easy to memorize. You just crisscross the variables. Um, let's go ahead and do an example. Oh, oh, and in all of this, obviously the bottom cannot be zero. So fz here is not zero for any x, y, and z. And uh, likewise, uh, same thing here. fz here is not zero for any x, y, and z. All right, I have a simple example here we should try. Looks like an easy problem, but there's nothing wrong with easy sometimes. So we have 11x squared plus 5y squared plus 3z squared equals 4. And the question is to find del z del x, so the partial derivative of z with respect to x, and to also find um, del z del y, the partial derivative of z with respect to y. So the first thing you have to do in these problems is you have to set everything equal to 0, because you have to define your big F. So we'll start by subtracting 4 from both sides of this equation. So we have 11x squared plus 5y squared plus 3z squared minus 4, and that's equal to 0. So that's the first step, right? You just set everything equal to 0. So this is going to be our big F of x, y, z. It's very important that this step is done. In this case, it wouldn't have made a difference because the derivative of 4 is 0. But if it had been like a 4x or something, or a 4xyz, then it totally would have made uh, a difference. OK, so let's go ahead and write the answer down. So we have to do del z del x, do that one first. So that's negative, and then just crisscross them. So it's fx up top and fz on the bottom. So see what I mean by crisscross? You just, you just do that. All right, so this is negative. All right, taking the partial with respect to x, that means the derivative of everything except stuff with x is 0. So everything else is constant except x. So it's just going to be 22x. And boom, everything else is just 0 over the partial with respect to z. Uh, so everything is 0 except the stuff with the z's. So 6z. So I think we can simplify this. Uh, 2 goes into 22 11 times. So this is negative 11x over 3z. That's it. Super easy, right? Let's do the other one. Let me switch colors. Let's try this one. Del z, del y. Again, you just crisscross them. So it's negative, so you get the fy up top and the fz on the bottom. This is equal to negative. 
see the partial of big F with respect to Y. So if it doesn't have a Y, it's going to be 0. So it looks like it's going to be 10Y, right? Because 2 times 5 is 10. So 10Y and over, and then FZ uh, is just going to be 6Z just like before. Can we simplify this? Yes, yes we can. 2 goes in into 10 5 times, so this is negative 5Y over, and then 3Z. And that, my friends, is the final answer. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.